How to Build a House by Gail Gibson. Many people live in houses. There are many kinds of houses. Log cabin, stone house, adobe house, cement block house. They are built with different materials. Houses are built in many shapes and sizes too. Brick house, glass house, frame house. This is how a wood frame house is built. First, an architect draws plans. The architect recommends a general contractor who will be in charge of building the house. During the months ahead, the general contractor will hire all these people to complete the project. The general contractor makes sure everything is done according to schedule. At the construction site, the surveyor measures the foundation. He hammers wood stakes into the ground where the corners of the house will be. A well is being drilled. The heavy equipment operators come rumbling up the road. They dig a hole where the foundation will go. The foundation will support the weight of the house. Next, the foundation builders arrive. They dig trenches around the edges. Then they line the trenches with boards to make a form. Trucks move into place and pour concrete. When the concrete is hard, the boards are removed. This is the footing for the foundation. The footing will give the house a firm base. Then the foundation builders build forms on the footings for the foundation walls. The concrete trucks come and go to fill the forms. The concrete floor of the basement is poured and smoothed over. The forms are removed when the concrete is hard. Tar is smoothed on the outside walls so moisture can't go inside. Then the bulldozer pushes or backlifts the dirt up against the outside of the foundation. The septic system crew arrives. They dig a hole and lower a septic tank into it. A pipe goes from the basement to the septic tank. The waste from the drains in the house will flow into the septic tank. Here comes the carpenter crew. Out comes their tools. They bolt down boards called the sill to the top of the foundation. Then they hammer heavy boards called joists into place. The carpenters nail sheets of plywood to the joist, making what is called a deck. It is the floor of the house. Next, they begin to frame the house. They study the architect's plans. They saw pieces of wood to their correct sizes. They nail together an outside wall of the house. The carpenter crew pushes the wall up and nails it into place. Another wall goes up and another. Finally, all the walls are in place. Now the carpenters frame in the roof. Roof rafters are nailed to the ridge board. Soon the framing of the house will be complete. They begin to enclose the house by nailing sheets of plywood to the outside of the frame. This is called sheathing. Then they saw out the spaces for the windows and doors. Felt paper is nailed to the outside of the plywood to keep moisture out. On the roof, a carpenter is busy nailing down shingles. Other carpenters nail down clapboard siding to the sides of the house. Day after day, the work continues. The mason is almost finished building the chimney. Windows and doors are installed. Inside the house, interior walls are nailed into place. An electrician runs wires through the walls to the outlets and switches. Plumbers install the pipes that bring water to the faucets and carry waste from drains to the septic system. Insulation is tucked between studs to keep heat inside the house. The drywall crew cuts and nails the drywall into place. They smear joint compound onto the drywall joints to make smooth walls. Next, the finished floors are nailed down. Windows and doors are trimmed. The painters paint the walls. Everything is almost done. The electrician hooks up the light fixtures. Cabinets are installed. 
The plumber puts in the bathtub, toilets, and sinks. The furnace and hot air ducts are installed. Outside, the landscapers notice that the grass they planted is beginning to grow. They dig a hole for one more bush. For many months, this has been a very busy place. At last, the work is done. Now the house is ready to become a home.